Welcome to UKSG 2023 from Glasgow. This is the first timers guide to the conference and a guide to Glasgow. Welcome. Thank you for registering for the UKSG 2023 conference and ex exhibition and a big Scottish welcome from us all. The conference is being held in Glasgow, Scotland's largest city on the banks of the River Clyde. The conference is from the 13th of April until the 15th of April 2023. We're looking forward to welcoming you as a first time delegate and are sure you will find the event informative and enjoyable. Over 900 colleagues usually attend, but we're a friendly bunch who will help to make your conference a memorable experience. We hope you're looking forward to meeting new people and old friends. Free Wi-Fi is available, just choose the SEC Wi-Fi network. There is no username or password. And please use the hashtag UKSG2023. The purpose of this tutorial is to let you know what to expect and to guide you through all aspects of the conference, as well as giving you hints and tips for the best experience of the conference in particular and Glasgow in general. Hi, my name is Brian Lewis. I am Digital Communications Associate at UKSG. At the conference, you'll find me in a bright blue vest with Here to Help written on the back. You've got a problem? You need information? Do you want to buy me a beer? Then I'm your man. Right, you know the dates. Now, where is it? It's being held in Glasgow, situated on the River Clyde in the country's west central lowlands. The full address is Scottish Exhibition and Conference Centre, Exhibition Way, Glasgow, G38YW. How are you getting there? Located in West Central Scotland, Glasgow is around a five and a half hour journey by train from London, or 50 minutes from Edinburgh. The city is also served by Glasgow Airport, which operates flights to and from destinations worldwide. For current travel information, go to www.visitscotland.com slash destination hyphen maps slash Glasgow. Travelling by air. Glasgow has three international airports nearby with connections across the UK and the world. Glasgow Airport is the closest airport to the city centre Catch the express bus service from outside the terminal and arrive in Glasgow in around 15 minutes. Glasgow Presswick Airport is 32 miles from Glasgow. It is very accessible by train and bus services to the city centre. Edinburgh Airport is 39 miles from Glasgow. There is a direct bus service from the airport to Glasgow's Buchanan bus station which takes around an hour. Travelling by road inside UK. Scotland has an extensive motorway road network. Glasgow is linked to the following places. Edinburgh with the M8, England on the M74, Stirling with the M80, and the west coast of Scotland with the M77. Travelling by public transport. Current information about getting to Glasgow by public transport can be found at www.visitscotland.com slash destinations hyphen maps slash Glasgow or by searching for getting to Glasgow by public transport in your browser. For getting around Glasgow, please visit www.peoplemakeglasgow.com slash good hyphen to hyphen no slash getting hyphen around. A conference rover pass is available to purchase for the Glasgow trains for delegates once they have collected their conference badge. Details are available at www.scotrail.co.uk slash tickets slash conference rover. If you're not from the UK, this might be prove useful. 
Britons drive on the left hand side of the road. Unless directed otherwise by signs, markings or lights, you cannot turn left at a red traffic light. Unless directed otherwise by signs, markings or lights, give way to traffic coming from your right at roundabouts. It is legal to drive in Britain with a valid driving license for up to 12 months from your arrival. Under British law, all drivers and passengers must wear seat belts. Car seats or appropriate restraints are compulsory for children. It's prohibited and dangerous to drive while using a handheld mobile phone or similar device. Motorcyclists and passengers must wear a helmet. For details of UK road signs and rules of the road, pick up a copy of the Highway Code, available in bookshops and AA and RAC outlets or online. Visit the www.gov.uk slash transport slash driving hyphen and hyphen road hyphen transport for full details of the legal requirements for drivers. Discounts. Glasgow Convention Bureau are providing delegates with special discounts on such items as food and drink with up to 25% in some cases. More information can be found at https backslash backslash glasgowconventionbureau.com slash media slash 4642 slash delegate hyphen offers hyphen glasgow hyphen 2023 dot pdf. It's definitely worth a look. Other useful information. The average minimum temperature in Glasgow in April is about 5 degrees centigrade, 41 degrees Fahrenheit. The amount of rain in April is normal with an average of 66 millimetres, 2.6 inches. This makes it the driest month of the year. It rains on average a total of 12 days. The average maximum daytime temperature lies around 13 degrees centigrade, 55 degrees Fahrenheit. The sun will occasionally show itself with 143 hours of sunshine during the whole month. As Glasgow is a popular visitors and holidaymakers destination, it is available to book your stay as early as possible. Accommodation options are available on the UKSG conference website. What to pack? Clothing layers. It's all about packing lots of layers of clothing. The Scottish weather is very unpredictable. We could be sitting in sunshine and a couple of hours later there may be rain and it could be cold. Well, welcome to Scotland. Comfortable clothes are suggested and we particularly recommend comfortable shoes. But don't forget your glad rags for the conference gala event. Other information. Dietary requirements. Any special dietary requirements should have been notified on the registration form. If you did not book yourself on the conference, it would be worth checking in advance that your requirements have been logged. Code of Conduct. As you might expect, there's a code of conduct that will require delegates to abide by. Details can be found at www.uksg.org slash page slash UKSG hyphen code hyphen conduct. Spare lunches. Any spare lunches at the conference will be donated to Fair Share, who take surplus food and redistributes this through a network of over 11,000 organisations. They help vulnerable members of the public, including school breakfast clubs, homeless shelters and community cafe cafes. More information can be found at www.fairshare.org.uk. The conference app. The app is the essential guide for the conference and can be easily downloaded from the Apple Store and the Google Play Store and can also be used online. There will be an app user's guide available on the UKSG website. The app includes such features as full details of sessions, speakers, exhibitors and delegates, maps to help you around the conference and exhibition, easy networking with other delegates, asking speakers questions, 
local and practical information and the ability to receive timely and helpful announcements. First timers reception. On the Wednesday evening, there is a first timers reception where you can meet UKSG staff, committee members and other first timers with free drinks and nibbles. Come along and relax in the company of delegates with common interests. Who attends the UKSG conference? The types of people attending the UKS Junk Conference are many and varied, but in the main consists of librarians, publishers, tech and service providers, scholars, funders, database providers. Details of attendees, their affiliations and of the exhibitors and speakers can be found in the app. Meeting format. Plenary sessions. There are a number of plenary sessions over the three days where you can ask questions live via the app or if you use Twitter using the hashtag UKSG2023. Breakout sessions. You can choose from four different breakout sessions. In each breakout session, there is a choice of about eight talks. Each session is repeated twice over the three days, giving you the chance to pick your favorite subjects. Lightning sessions. The lightning sessions are fast introductions to new topics, research or products. Meals and refreshments. Lunches are served in the exhibition area when the number of water stations dotted around the location. Spare lunches are being donated to charity. Social events. Wednesday evening is reserved for the first time as reception. Thursday is quiz night and Friday is a gala event. Don't forget to book your place, seats are limited. So you've got some spare time. Glasgow is a city with striking architecture, contemporary art spaces and fascinating museums, many of which are free. Glasgow city centre is one of the best shopping destinations in the UK outside of London's West End with a diverse culinary scene, abundance of pubs and bars, as well as some of the UK's best music venues, there should be plenty to do. There are several smartphone apps now available from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store with information and news about the city you may find useful. Just search Glasgow in your provider's store. Top attractions and things to do. How about an open top bus tour? What about trying a walking tour? You could visit the Kelvin Grove Museum. You could look around the university. You could try a whiskey in a pub. Glasgow Cathedral is worth a visit. You could go shopping on Buchanan Street or try a different whiskey in a different pub. For more information, visit www.visitscotland.com slash destinations hyphen maps slash Glasgow. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, please contact me at one of these addresses. Thank you.